in this project, you will install the Salesforce CLI. You will install Visual Studio Code and the extensions for Salesforce DX. And you will also create and deploy a Lightning Web component. To start with, you will create your own Trailhead playground. If you have not yet done so, sign up for Trailhead, create your own playground and reset your password for that Trailhead playground after launching it. This is the first step I'll be showing you how to reset your password. Next, we'll be installing the command line interface. We'll set up Visual Studio Code, create a Salesforce DX project and create a Lightning Web component. Once you're signed in to your Trailhead playground, go to setup. In setup, type users in the quick find box and click on users. Now find your username. So in this case, I'll select my user and you can either reset the password, in which case Salesforce will reset the password and send you an email. Or I'll show you an easier way. You can click on the user and you can actually change the password for the user. So let's set a new password, change the password. So we will just change the password and remember the username is this field here and not your actual email ID. Note down your username and password somewhere. We'll need it in the next steps. Now the next step will be to install the uh, command line interface. So for that, we'll have to go to the developer.salesforce.com. I'll put this link in the description of this video, or you can also go to developer.salesforce.com tools SFDX CLI. I'll put this link also in the description. So you can download for Windows X64 that downloads the exe file for us. Once the exe file has been downloaded, just click on the exe file to open it. It opens the setup window. Select the components. Next, install it. While it is installing, let us check the next steps. Once it has been successfully installed, we'll also verify the installation. So run this command to verify the Salesforce version, SFTX version. Okay, let's try that. Let us wait for the installation to complete and then we'll verify the installation. Now that the installation is completed, we'll verify the update has happened properly. So just open a command prompt and give the command sfdx update updating cli so it will just update it to the latest version but that tells us that sfdx has been correctly installed next step we'll install the salesforce extensions for visual studio code so visual studio code is the go-to code editor for salesforce developers it's free open source and it's available for windows linux and mac os the editor has easy to install extensions for syntax highlighting code completion and more in this project we will install Visual Studio Code and the recommended Salesforce extension pack. So just download and install the latest version of Visual Studio Code for your operating system. If you already have Visual Studio Code installed, there's no need to reinstall it. Launch Visual Studio Code. On the left toolbar, click on extensions and search for the Salesforce extension pack and click install. I've already installed it, so I'm just going to reload it. Now that you've installed Visual Studio Code and enabled the necessary extensions, you need to test them out. Open the command palette by, by pressing Control Shift P, which will show all the commands to you. Enter SFDX to filter for the commands that are provided by Salesforce extensions. As you start using more SFDX commands, those commands will show up in the recently used panel. In the next step, we'll create a Lightning Web component and we'll add it to the org's homepage. So let's go ahead and create a project. So create, and then it gives you an option, standard, empty, or analytics. We'll select standard, enter the project name. So hello world, Lightning Web component, and select a folder to store the project. You should see something like this in your base setup. So you have hello world, Lightning Web component as a project name, and this is your base setup of the project. Now that you have created the base project, we'll authorize the org to sign into the Trailhead Playground. This is where the username and password will come in handy. So press Control Shift P and select the command Authorize an org. Select Project Default and accept the default alias, which is the VS Code org. This will open up a new browser window where you will be asked to authenticate yourself to Salesforce. So get your username and password for this org allow access salesforce cli is asking for certain permissions so we allow that and we are in so your success message will look something like this successfully authorized the user id with org id that means we can now go ahead and close the browser now that we have authorized the org we'll go ahead and we'll create 
a lightning web component if you see a lightning component don't select that otherwise it will go ahead and create an aura component actually uh, luckily here it's clearly named as aura component so we will create a lightning web component enter hello world as the desired file name except the default lwc directory there you go now you can see the newly created files on the left hand side panel in the html file let's put in the code and i'll give you a link to this code I'll put this code as well in the description so you it will be easy for you to copy paste you don't have to type it in and let's save the file next go to the JavaScript file let's just copy paste this code and again save the file in the XML file just paste this code and again save the file now the next step we have to deploy this to our trailhead playground right click on the default folder under force app main click on SFDX deploy source to org and that starts deploying the code that we have just created. This shows us, the success status here shows us that the three files were uploaded to our org. Now let's go back to our org. So you can actually invoke or open the org from Visual Studio itself. SFTX, open default org that signs us in to our org. Now from the app launcher, go to sales click on the setup icon and click edit page you'll find the custom hello world component has now been deployed to our org you can actually drag it onto the page so let's pull it here click save and activate assign as org default save click save again and then click back arrow here to go back to the home page and we can see that the component that we just created in visual studio code is now appearing on our home page it's a very simple component but what you can do is you can explore some other code samples and SDKs I leave the link to the code samples in the description of this video and you can add more and more code to this hello world component in Visual Studio code check out other some sample components build your own components as you experiment use the component reference to learn more about how to code lightning web components so it's been a bit of a longish video, but I hope uh, uh, this gives you an overview of how to install the uh, Salesforce CLI, how to set up uh, Visual Studio Code, and how to create a sample project uh, so that the component becomes visible on our Salesforce homepage. If you would like to learn about any feature, drop a comment under this video, and I'll make a video on that particular feature that you want to learn about and do subscribe to this channel.